It's so great you could join us. I am with Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes Union Market, Red Apron is there, a great place to check out, and also in Old Town you've got Vermilion and Columbia Firehouse. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too, bud. What do we have on tap this week? This week we have a delicious beer called Ooh, Grove Stand. Local. From Aslan Brewing Company out in Northern Virginia. Uh, a really a huge success story uh, on, the, on the scene, both locally and, and, and further afield. Aslan started back in 2015 and has been just going up uh, ever since. Uh, they've had their finger on the pulse of what's, what's good and what's cool and what's happening, and they've just they've been making really, really delicious examples of the beers along the way. So this is Grove Sand. A hazy Grove IPA um, that's brewed with citra and mosaic hops. But it is uh, what we call a milkshake IPA because it's been brewed with lactose milk sugar and vanilla. And you kind of get that vanilla right away. Oh, yeah, what an interesting finish. So cool. You know, in 2015, I think 500 breweries opened in the United States, which is just wild to think. Over the past five years, there's been like 3,000 uh, openings in the U.S. And so, of them, you know, some have, have, have done well, others not so well. Um, some have gained a lot of attention and notoriety and a lot of acclaim, and Aslan's definitely one of them. They execute these delicious beers very well. They're great guys, uh, Kai, Richard, and Drew out there making great things. In Herndon, Virginia, you know, they have been working on a separate tap room in Herndon for what seems like years now. Uh, that's still on the way. They're just, they've been having some issues there. Um, but in the meantime, they took over another space in Alexandria, Virginia, even closer ah. to us, uh, where they're going to have a brand new production facility and tap room uh, opening, hopefully at some point in 2019. So you're going to see their beer a lot more. Even though most of their beer is available in Herndon at their current facility via can, um, you will see draft beer at places like Church Key and others uh, throughout the area. They did about 6,000 barrels last year, which is a lot of beer to go through cans. They're hoping to uh, nearly double that uh, in 2019 once they open the second facility. So uh, really, I like it, a unique taste with that, the, the lactose, and you, you mentioned the milkshake. So what would you pair this with? It's been really fun to think about pairing uh, of IPAs as that category has been just completely transformed in many yeah, ways. I mean, yeah. you still have classic West Coast style of IPAs. Uh, we've done some recently on the show, and then you have the, the hazy IPAs, and then you have ones like this that are, you know, sweet and have full rich vanilla uh, bodies in addition to the hop flavor. Then you have some that are filled with fruits and some that are even sour. So it's it's been really fun to have new flavors to present to food. And so with these, I've found um, that these beers go really well with stews of, of any kind. Um, so think of like, like a classic beef stew. I love the body and sweetness of this. It brings like this layer of vanilla sweetness and then also citrus to liven it up. Incredible. Also like uh, pork stew pozole, same idea. You can do like beef bourguignon, which is a classic French stew. Um, is, is, is really great shepherd's pie, you name it. I've had a lot of good success with that. Then on the seafood front, I almost think to myself, well, first of all, seafood stews like bouillabaisse, um, uh, chipino, things like this are incredible. Uh, Fish-based gumbos, really great with this. Uh, but then also anything that kind of, to me, I get a, like a coconutty flavor from this. Yes. So I think it would be yes. amazing with like, like- Coconut shrimp. Exactly, yeah. or like scallops, or just like simply prepared cod would work really well with this. There he goes again and says a word like basole that I'm, not, I'm gonna have to That's Google now and, and, and see how it's spelled. How many, so we'll have to have, my we'll have you so over hard, and show you some Greg, of that. Yeah. So hard. Thank you as always. You got it. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.